got plenty of fresh ideas, Mr. Chairman. Jenny Sillies. Thank you, Mr. Chair. New Zealanders are entitled to a free, accessible education system. We believe that education gives our young people the opportunities to be the very best that they can be, to contribute and to make New Zealand a fantastic place to live. Now, after nine very long years, Mr. Chair, this national government's approach to education in Budget 2017 is just more of the same. Have they invested to ensure that the teacher supply crisis is addressed? No, this government has failed to do that. This government has also failed to address overcrowding in schools, and we've heard from many of our colleagues talking about the fact that we have schools that are overcrowding, or overcrowded already, and many other hundreds of schools that are at risk of overcrowding. This government has also failed to keep tertiary education free, uh, uh, tertiary education fees down for students. And Mr Chair, thousands of our students are now facing a lifetime of student debt. The best educational systems, Mr Chair, make teaching as a profession attractive, an attractive career. They also do their very best to try and retain the teachers in the profession. But we know from a survey um, that was announced, I think about two days ago, that teachers um, in Auckland in particular, two thirds of the young teachers, primary and intermediate um, uh, school teachers, are either already leaving the larger city that we have or they are planning to leave Auckland. Why? Because they can no longer afford to live in our larger city. Schools are telling us that more than half of the teachers, um, they are actually finding it really hard to recruit teachers into their schools. Schools are telling us that as they start term three, which is um, yesterday, that more than half of their schools are short by two or three teachers, Mr Chair. And this is an issue that we must absolutely address because it affects all of our children from all levels, from early childhood, primary, as well as at high school, Mr Chair. And when we have schools in Auckland who are stepping up, proposing innovative ways of addressing this issue by saying that they are looking at building places of accommodation, residences at their school to house teachers, Mr Chair, you have to actually ask the question, why is it that schools are beginning to do that? And then the other question you have to ask is, which schools actually have the resources to be able to do that? Because I can tell you, Mr Chair, that it is the schools that are in rural communities, schools that are in South Auckland, that are absolutely not in any um, place to be able to build places to accommodate their uh, teachers because the teachers can no longer afford to live in our largest uh, city. Mr Chair, getting back to Budget 2017, one of the things proposed under this um, government is that they will have a budget initiative for children who are disadvantaged kids at Early Learning Services, or ECE. But the issue, Mr Chair, that we have on this side of the House is how these kids are going to be identified. The really blunt tool that this government is going to use is they're going to look at kids who are benefit-dependent households, kids from benefit um, uh, places. But Mr Chair, more than half of the families that come to our offices out in South Auckland asking for assistance are working families, either with a, a, a father who's working full-time or both parents who are working full-time, and yet they live in cars, garages, tents and caravans. We cannot say, Mr Chair, that these children are not at risk, because when you are a child and you should be attending early childhood education services, but you do not have a house to live in, absolutely you are at risk. And Mr Chair, one other question I have to ask of this government. They actually made an announcement that they will be building many more new schools out in Auckland. But the question is, the announcement that this government made th over three years ago now, that there was going to be an allocation of $350 million promised to build nine new schools in Auckland. Where are those schools? Mr Chair, to re-announce $240 million in this budget way back in June is re-announcement, rehashing of policies, uh, government funding that was announced several years ago, but just because they haven't actually built those schools, 
does not actually give this government the license to give us national trickery, announcing funding that they've already announced, but they have failed to spend. Mr Speaker, it is time for a completely fresh approach. Labour and government would implement what is really needed, a comprehensive education system. Thank you. Mr Chair. Oh, the Honourable Nikki Kaye. Oh, look, I'm very pleased to speak. Uh